this is a rigid heddle loom and they've been around for quite a while I don't know I mean hundreds of years I really don't know who invented them but if you don't have room for a big floor loom this is a great alternative it's actually quite portable I take it with me when I go to Florida every winter and it will fold you can see the latch there even if you have a project on it it'll fold up stick it in the bag and away you go so what I'm doing now is weaving a set of kitchen towels. They're 100% cotton. They're going to be very thirsty. They'll wash like a dream. And I have enough warp on here. Warp are the threads that go this way. I have enough warp on here for five towels at one time. And I'll put a separator in between it. this little tape measure lets me know how much I've already got on this particular towel. It's six inches at this point. And I'll weave it until it's about 21 inches. And then put a separator in and do another one. This is called a shuttle. There are different kinds of shuttles depending upon the loom. It's called a stick shuttle. And so this is a rigid handle loom. They come narrow. You can get an 8 inch. Very portable if you have an RV or something. They're great. You can do scarves and dishcloths and so on with them. This is a 24 inch. So I can do uh, shawls and the ruana and the towels and scarves. And I've even done narrow belts. It's a lot of fun. This is hem stitching. It's uh, how I prefer to end my cotton towels. But once they're washed and finished, it'll hold as long as the towel lives. This this seam or this hem will never ravel away. I'll leave about a well, three fourths of an inch of fringe, and that'll last its lifetime. The other way to do it would be to hem it on a sewing machine, but then you have three layers, and when your towel is wet from using it, it's going to take that hem longer to dry. So I like hem stitching in just a little bit of fringe. This is 100% cotton, so it's going to wash and dry like a dream. It's going to soak up all the wet off of your dishes. I think you'll love it.